Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it would be fun if I could create a 50 Shades of Grey inspired makeup look and this is the look for you guys. So if you want to see how I create the, this 50 Shades of Grey inspired look, then please keep watching. So I already did my foundation and some highlight and contour, so I'm moving straight onto the eyes right now. So for this look, it's going to be somewhat of a cat eye, so I'm going to grab whatever cut or paper that I have and I'm going to angle it against my eyes. And with my pencil brush and the black in that palette, I'm going to apply that on the outer view of my eyes. And with my blending brush, I'm just going to blend it in so it wouldn't be very harsh looking. And with a flat shader brush and the same black color, I'm applying that in the inner corner of my eyes. So with whatever that's left on our pencil brush, I'm just bringing that into our crease just for some definition. And you don't have to be too neat about this because we're going to blend everything in later on. And that will be right now. So with my blending brush, I'm just blending all of that in. And for this look, you really want to blend, blend and blend because you don't want to have like a panda eye. So you really want to blend all of that in. And with this grey shade, I'm applying that on my lid. And... After that, I'm going to use this lighter shade and placing that right in the center so that it really like stands out and it is very much highlighted. Over here, I'm using the lightest grey shade that we use and I'm applying that on the first set of our lower lash line. And for the second set of our lower lash line, I'm using the black shade with my pencil brush. And then with my blending brush, I'm just going to smoke out the entire thing with whatever black that I have left on that brush. And over here, I'm using my gel liner to line my waterline to give it that nice tight line look. So once we're done with that, I'm using the e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm going to line my eyes but this time I'm not doing any cat eye because the eyeshadow is already quite catty so I'm just going to bring it down without any tail at the end. So since this look is going to be really dramatic, I'm just going to throw in some false eyelashes and I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Space. So to blend my false eyelash and my real lashes, I'm just going to use this Catrice Thumb Doll Volume Mascara. I didn't show you guys the upper lash coating of mascara but I did it already so here's the lower lash. Okay, so that's that for the eyes and now moving on to the face, we're going to go back in with contour and I'm using the Bahama Mama by The Balm and I'm just applying that on the hollows of my cheeks, around my forehead and my jaw. So next up, I'll be applying the blush by Catrice which is in the shade of Proposed Apricot. I didn't show you guys but I basically use this in every one of my videos so you can just watch any of that to see how it looks like. So next, I'm using this... Mary Luminizer by The Balm is a really great highlighter and I'm applying that on the highest points of my cheeks and my nose and I think my brow bone as well. So we're almost done with this look and for our lips, I'm going to use this Silky Girl Lip Liner in Wine to line my lips. So 
So to finish off this look, I'm using this NYX Lipstick in Black Cherry and it's a really nice maroon wine color and I know that this um, combination of the eyes and the lips is a little wow but you know if I'm gonna go dramatic I might as well go all the way I mean you guys can opt for nude lips but I'm just gonna stick with this one okay you guys so that is all for this 50 shades of gray inspired makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed this look and love how it turned out so if you guys want to see more of this just leave it down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye